I was a foolish young man. Yes. You know, they used to have razor blades. You're still a young man. Right. Why are you... I, why are you... I had a razor blade, which I covered with a bit of tissue paper and put in my pocket. Right. I completely forgot about it. And then sometime later, I was in a conversation with someone. I put my hand in the pocket. Guess what happened? I cut myself quite badly. If you put... The biblical term, if you put a serpent in your breast, yes. you're going to get bitten, right? Mm. If you put a razor blade in your pocket, right? Mm. The PLO, mm. the Hasbilla, mm. and all the other lot, mm. all the other ones, mm. they are a snake mm. in the breast pocket mm. of the Palestinians. Okay. And every time they do it, mm -hmm. no matter where they've gone, mm. they brought destruction upon themselves. Okay. Right? It's always the Jews, forgive the term, I don't know, I'm never quite happy with that term, but mm. it's always the Jews' fault. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Rubbish. Mm. Right? The fact is that you have mortal enemies mm. who absolutely hate mm. the very idea mm -hmm. of the State of Israel. Mm -hmm. Because I'll tell you why I think that is. Yes. Because it's contrary mm. to the theology mm -hmm. of Islam. Okay. That in my, correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. That states, oh, I will do. I will correct right, you very, very shortly. States, hold on. Very, very shortly. That there can only be peace. Yes. If the people of the book, mm. that's the Jews and the Christians, yes, are in subjection mm. to Islam. Okay. Right? While the Jews were as they were. Mm. There was peace in the Middle East. Uh -huh. right? Really? Okay. But the, having the state of Israel established mm. is total anathema, mm. totally contradictory mm -hmm. to Islamic theology. Is it really? Okay. You don't believe that. Well, I'll correct you after you finish. Right, right, right. If you, if you just so, round it up why, and, I, and I'll correct which you. Which is why you have because you need correcting. Yeah. hatred. Okay for the state of Israel, okay. not by everyone, I'm okay. not suggesting that at all. Mm -hmm. In fact, I would suggest that 90% of the Palestinians would... Sorry, brother, can I ask a very question no, no. brother is here? No. I am North African, and my DNA is 20% 20, 20 a Jew. Brother, just now one my second. Question is, my question is, because 20% 20, 20 That's indigenous... From from is no, no, I need to correct it. I, I need to correct it. Just, I, I'll correct you, don't worry. Is, I, I think you can. The, 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 the Jewish history, it's part of my heritage. I don't like someone you're over to come and take it. And there's a verse in the Bible. I I need you to interpret it for me. Brother, I we're in a conversation. Me, we're saying, Brother, please, we're in a conversation. Okay. If you don't mind, I, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, you, you can ask fine. you can ask a question. No, no, no. I, I, think I, I understand. Think no, no. I but he but, but he said no, no. Yeah, but, but he, he yeah, said a lot of stuff. No, no, brother, brother. One second, brother. Please, Achi, 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 one second. He said some things, which I need to correct him on, which are very important. Okay. Yeah. How many years do the Jews, Christians and Muslims live in Israel in harmony? For the reasons already stated, how many years? Time. How uh, many years? Uh, you could argue, but I wouldn't. I, I could argue it. Just say 2,000 years. Well, Muslim Islam didn't come 2,000 years ago, but okay. it was at least 12 or 1,300 years. We're quibbling, but now, okay, all right. Since you haven't quoted any, since that. you haven't quoted any academics, I will. Hold on a second. No, 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 no. You made a long statement, no, no, and I haven't no, finished. No, no. Excuse hold me. On, hold on, I gave you. A, I didn't interrupt you. Right. Yes, but I did not interrupt you. All right, go on. I did not interrupt you. But you've stated... Since you've quoted no academics, I will. Okay. Look at the works of Karen Armstrong. Go on. A British historian. Go on. Ex nun. Right. What does she say? Ex nun. Well, I would put a lot of salt with that, but carry on. Oh, You've put a lot of salt with it simply because she was a nun. Okay. It just shows what sort of person you are. No, what no, I would, what I would do. Yeah. Well, what I would do is I would look at her academia. Right. I would look at her experience, right. her level of education, right. and if she's wrong fundamentally on historical points, right. I would then challenge her. Right. Okay. I don't care whether in, she was a. But no, 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 no. I haven't finished my point okay. though. Right. Right. So they live together. Right. For over a thousand years, right. the Jews, the Muslims, and the Christians. In peace. In peace. Because, in peace. Because, because what? Because Islam was the dominant force in the Middle East. But they were really living in peace. As I said, yeah, right. the only time they can have peace yes. is when, according to Islamic theology. No. Yes. Okay, okay. Absolutely. All right, so you said. Okay, I don't know. Hold on a second. Hold on. I'll, I'll justify that. You said Islamic theology. Hold on a minute. Yeah. I will justify Please do. Please do. Because Islam do. thinks and teaches. Yes. That Islam is the final word of God yes. and that 
everything should be in subjection to it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Submission. No, it doesn't. Islam, right? Oh, give me the reference. You tell them that's not true. Justify your claim. Where's your reference? History. Justify your claim. You've made a claim. Right. You didn't say history. Are you, are you trying uh, to... Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. You said Islam. Okay, right. Give me the reference. I'm no academic. Give but me the tell reference. Me, tell me, tell me something. Give me the reference. No, what reference you want? You said Islam. Yes. Says that they have to... Reference. Right, I've heard Muslims saying that here in speakers... It doesn't matter what Muslims say. Well, so. Give me but the reference. Hold on, hold on Give me the I, reference. Before, before this gentleman said anything, I said, did I not that there can, there is only peace in the Middle East when Islam considered that the Christian and the, uh, the, the Jews were subject to them. You can do that politically. You, you use you the word theology. Anyway. Right, but hold, you, theology. You, you use the word theology. I did use theology. Theology means religion. Right, right. Give me the no, reference. No, no, theology is give, the give me God. the reference. No, no, I'll tell you. Give me the reference or, or retract it. Right, I won't retract it. Well, then give me the reference <laughs> then. then. I'll, tell you the, I'll refer to the Middle East itself. Give me the re no, reference no, 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 or retract it. Because the moment... You made a claim. Because the moment the state of Israel was established in the Middle East, that... War started so from day one. Oh no, 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 red herring. No, no, red herring. No, no, brother, don't let him off the hook. Red herring. Red herring. Why is it? Give me the reference. You said the theology of Islam is there to subjugate the Jew and the Christian. I didn't say that. Yes, you said you said theology. I said it was the theology. So if you did say that, you're saying it's wrong. If, if you did say I that, said, you, if you said it, did you say, I are you said, retracting it? Hold on a minute, I'm not retracting you're anything. You're going to look disingenuous I'm if not, you don't. I'm not retracting. You're going to look, you're going to look disingenuous. It doesn't matter what I look like. You're going to the look very disingenuous. I don't, I don't care about it. Right. I said that the theology of Islam yes. cannot have. Yes. I didn't say it like this, I'm just putting it Now you're away. changing it, you're no, moving the goalposts no, because you right, realise you've right. got caught. No, I'm not. No, no. You've, got, you've got caught, the so now you have to change the of argument. The Islam has it that there can be no peace unless the Jews are in subjection to Islam. And I gave a, a reason All right, for, give me the reference for I that. And I gave the reason for right, that. Give me the reference. I gave the reason for okay. that because Islam teaches yes. that Islam is the final word of God. Right. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. He doesn't have the reference. And it's the he final. Say, so he, so he, has to, he has to waffle. Listen. Go to he has any to waffle. Muslim here and they will say it. I'll give you a reference. Go on. Go on. I'll give you a reference. Go on. I'm listening. When the Prophet وسلم, took Medina, well, what actually was given Medina, and he had power over the Jews, did he subjugate them to the Islamic law? Yes or no? Did he subjugate or do you, do you even I know? I did not accept the term, Do you even know? Which is why they must be in submission right. to Islam. Did they, were they allowed to operate their own laws? I have no idea, did they? Yes. Okay, right. But, it, but, they, while, but, while, Hold on a second. but while they're in submission no, to Islam. not at all. Absolutely. Okay, I've given you a reference yeah. of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I will stay with what I said. The, no, no, I will stay with what I said. You can stay stubbornly if you no, want to. No, no. But you Time, need, but you need no, to give a reference. No, the reference, otherwise, otherwise the it will get thrown is, out the Middle East, because right. if Allah was indeed the God of Abraham, there would be no conflict at all. Now, that's another red herring. What's no, that got to do? At all. What's that got to do with what we were talking about? Because we're talking about so, for, oh, so you've I accepted. Said, I said about so, theology. Look, I'd, I'd rather not interrupt each other. Theology okay. is the study of God. I'd rather not interrupt one another. Well, let's have a nice discussion. We're not having a nice discussion. Well, let's have a nice discussion. We'll have a, we could let's, try. Let's, let's try and have a nice discussion. Right. You said yep. that the, you used the word theology, yeah, I did. which indicates that the religion yep. guides those no, no, people. No, not religion. Well, theology is religion. No, no. The main problem with the world today is of theology, of people's concept of God. And because people have wrong concepts of God, and each thinks their truth is the truth, they bash each other's out, right? And the trouble is, most people 
are wrong in their concept of God and Islam so, is very wrong. So are you saying that it's not Islam then? It's Islam, just, it's no, no, just, it's no, no, Islam's concept of God is totally wrong. Okay. I don't know. Whether Islam's concept of God is wrong or not, it was not the issue that we were discussing. And that, no, no, hold, from that no, route, I didn't interrupt no, no, you. From that route, I didn't interrupt you. From that route, no, I'm answering each step as you go. Well, we're well I, tried, I tried doing that because you raised five points earlier, but yeah, you wouldn't let me do that. So we have to be fair yeah, here, right? Not being fair we have to, at all, well, if Muslims lived in peace with the Jews and the Christians for over a thousand years, it could not be Islam or the theology <laughs> that that create that oh, cre that, that instructed yeah. those people yeah. to be violent and oppressive yeah. towards the Jews no. and the Christians. But the hold, moment, on, hold on a second. Moment, let me just let me just fin I, I, I haven't finished my point. Well, you have. You, no, I haven't. You're just repeating the same. Now, thing. when the state of on, when the state of Israel was constructed, yeah. established. You, you, well, established by the UN, which sometimes the world counts as something. Yeah. So, do you think do you think that counts for something? That the UN? No, okay. I don't, because okay. even the UN can be. But having said that, okay. my foundation for my thinking is yes. the Book of Deuteronomy, right. which was the Book of Moses, who right. some say they honour, yes. where it says that God says, "I've given you this land." Yes. And he didn't give you this land because of your righteousness, but because of the wickedness of the people who inhabited it at the time. Okay. Right? Forever. So now you're Hold using on. theology no, no, I, to I, justify. I, now you're using theology, your theology, to justify the theft of Palestinian uh, land. Hold on, two things, right? Two things, right? The establishment of Israel, the state of Israel, Although it's of the, the UN's making, on the face of it, actually if you go to the last two chapters of Deuteronomy, you'll find that God says through the mouth of Moses that if you turn away from the living God to idols, I will scatter you to the four corners of the world. But wherever I have scattered you, if you repent, and turn to me, I will bring you back to this land. That's what it says. I didn't write the book. So you're using theology. I, well, I started with theology, remember? You're using the... No, no, no. Okay, so you've mentioned the United Nations and you, you've mentioned that in yeah. your Bible, it says that this, this... It's not my Bible. Well, it is my Bible. Yeah, yeah, I embrace so, it totally. So it is your Bible, then, isn't yeah. it? So I, wasn't, I didn't write it. I'm not saying you did. Right. And Deuteronomy uh, uh, is by the prophet Moses. Okay, I, I didn't say that you did. And Deuteronomy uh, is written by the prophet can we, Moses, can we, who Islam says can you we, honour. Can we at least right? try and engage no, no, properly? No, don't try and get it down to some personal thing. No, no, I'm not. You are. Oh, no, I'm not. You're saying, well, it's your Bible. You're saying... No, you're trying to bring it down to a personal uh, opinion. You have to let the other person speak. No, but I'm trying to get... No, no, this, no, 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 yes. No, well, you have I'm to let the other person no. speak. I am not going to get it reduced You have. You have. I am not to You have to let the other person speak. What are you afraid? Afraid of I having a conversation? Afraid at all. Well, you're not letting me speak. But, but I am not going to reduce right, this right. to your opinion. It doesn't matter. My, it, it doesn't matter. No, it, look. When you're having a listen. No, no, no. When you when you have a when no, you have. No, I am not. Hold on a second. To reduce hold on a second. It to an opinion. He's not. He's not going to reduce it to an argument that counters his argument. Basically, we that's what he's saying. Yet. You said United Nations, so yes. you're offering them some sort of credence. What about the 70 or 80? No, that's, that's, okay, hold on a second. Hold on, Can no, I just finish hold, my point? No, I'll answer that bit. No, no, first. well, you, no, well, let me. F the world counts the UN as something. Yes. And I would argue yes. that the Palestinians cannot go to the UN to try and establish their own state while they're undermining the state of Israel, who the UN established to start with. Okay. They, if, they, if the UN did that, they would actually undermine themselves. So they're not going to do that. Right, I didn't interrupt you. Right, that's fine. Right. Please, please so don't... let's get the UN out Hold of on here. a second. I was talking about theology, well, really, the, the fact, more the, the fact that you've mentioned them, I have the right, right go on. Yeah. to bring that in the conversation, right, okay. since you yeah, did yeah, and yeah, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Right? Yep. Now, I didn't interrupt you, yep. and I hope you offer me the same respect go on. Go on. And, on. and not interrupt me. Go on. What about the 70 or 80 United Nations resolutions against Israel? Yeah. On the one hand, you justify the creation of Israel because the UN did it. And when there are the 70, 80 resolutions that go against Israel, Israel simply flaunts them and ignores them. Right. So you can't have your cake and eat right. it. Two number things. two, no, 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 right. I haven't. Right. Number okay. two, right. 
You're using One, okay. you're using theology always from your Bible yes and justifying yes the stealing of a land of another people. No. And that's what you're doing. No, two things. And right? you're and you're claiming is, and you're claiming Islam does that when you're actually you're no. justifying no, it. Two things. I don't justify right. that and two the Quran things. doesn't if justify you remember, that. Remember, I did not count myself personally the UN as anything. I why did, why did you mention it? Hold I said, well, I, well, to show you. Yeah, to mention it, you right, mention it because right, it's important right, right. to you, right? Obviously. No, it's not. Why did you mention right. it then? I said, as the world counts things, yeah. the UN is counted as something. Right, so you gave right. it some importance. Right. No, I don't. Well, I don't. Then, then don't mention it then. All right, all right. If you bring it, if you so bring some in. Some people here might. Yeah, but well, then that's why I gave okay, the 70 right. or 80 right. resolutions. Right. That's why Tell I answered me. that. Tell me something. Who does the earth belong to? To God Almighty. So he can give land to whosoever he will. But God does not justify Hold theft. Hold on a minute. So God can justly and righteously give whoever land to whoever people. Absolutely. Right. It is written by Moses, who some say the honour, that he, God did not give... Let's get away from children of Israel for a minute. Right? It is taught in the Bible that God can justifiably and justly judge a king and take a kingdom from a king and give it to another. Right? He can take a land from a people and give it to another temporarily in chastisement or in judgment forever. It says of the scripture that the children of Israel, he did not give the children of Israel the land of Israel because they were righteous, but because of the wickedness of the people of inhabiting them. The Palestinians? I'm talking about historically. Okay. Right? He gave the land to them forever. In Deuteronomy, I've already stated, it says there that God will scatter them to the four corners of the earth. You've already mentioned this. Well, well I'm just being well, then. Let, I mean, and then it, he will bring them back to this place. Right. Because he gave it to them forever. Right. Right. Reasonably, if the God of Islam, they call Allah, was indeed the God of Abraham, yes. you would think that the Muslims, to go to this God and seek God's face, because God is a living God, and ask, why are these things so? Here's a problem. Can you please make your point well, so I, I can yeah, come yeah, back yeah, in again? Yeah, yeah, but no, 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 it's no. no, no I, look, no, I, didn't, no, I didn't interrupt no, you, no, but, but you're, you're, going, you're, going, on a, you're no, going on a bit no, now. No, no. When the children of you're, Israel, you're going on a bit when now. the children of Israel disobeyed God, oh, can you make your point, please, concisely? You see, when you're dealing with things of God, there's no instant coffee. Yeah, but if we're having a conversation, I'm yeah. not here to be lectured. I'm not lecturing you. And I'm not here to have no, a, a, you know, a, 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 a bar mitzvah but, speech. No, no, bar mitzvah right. speech. You I'm, I'm here. Just I'm don't here. Like the idea. I'm here. No, no, no. I'm here to have a conversation you're with you. To, you're not here to have First of all, you said, it does, can God give land to whoever He wills? Yeah. Absolutely. Can He take it away? Will God? Can he take how, it away? I didn't interrupt you. I will say I didn't interrupt I did not. You. I didn't interrupt can you. Can God I did, take? I did it not. I let you speak for quite a while. Can God? I did not interrupt take you. Away if God can I did not interrupt you. In you see the disingenuity here. And how disingenuous he is. You're talking to the camera anyway. He, so he, he, he doesn't want to have a conversation. God he just wants to preach. Take away a land from a people in judgment. Yes, he can. You, you're embarrassing both. yourself. Not at all. You are. No. Because I let you speak for about two minutes. Yeah. I just started speaking, yeah. and as usual, when you know that it gets difficult, you're, you, you're going to go now, are you? I am going to go. Yeah, right, see, right. This, is, this is what they do. So I'll round up then, because he's obviously clean. Not, not, he doesn't want to have a discussion. He came, he came anyway, to yeah, exactly. He came to me, yeah, exactly. and now he's in the camera God giving a lecture. Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, yes. Does, can God judge a people 
judge a nation and judge yeah. them and take the land from them. I'm yeah. not talking about Does now. God justify theft? I'm not talking about Can now. God justify theft? I cannot talk about Does God justify stealing? Oh. Does he? Right. Does God justify stealing a land from the people? No. No, he doesn't. You can't go and steal a land and say, my book says I, it's mine, so I can steal this land from you. That's not a justification. That is theft. That's stealing. Everybody regards it as stealing, except you. What are you afraid of? Have a conversation. Well, then have a conversation. I'm, I'm looking at you. I'm just leaving you aside and talking to you. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. Cameras don't talk back. You know, this is, this is, cameras don't talk back, they're, they're so scared to have a discussion that they need to You're not hog the camera. A discussion. Does God justify theft? That's a loaded question. Does he? Should I put a gun to my head? Will he? Virus? Will he ever justify no, theft? Not. Because he's suggesting. Will he? You're suggesting. No. You're suggesting, no. of course. Number two. You're suggesting. Number two. You said the Bible. Carry on. Carry Establish on. to just me. Establish to me that what you have is the Word of God. Okay, let me round up because he made a lot of uh, red herrings and a lot of uh, uh, you know ridiculous arguments. His argument was, can God give a land to a people that he chooses to? Of course he can. Can God take a land away from a people that he chooses to? Of course he can. But God does not justify, does not establish that you can be an aggressor, an oppressor and steal somebody else's land. Allah does not, the, the God of the Muslims, the God of Abraham, the God of Moses, the God of jo, uh, Jesus, peace be upon all of them, they do not justify uh, the prophets and neither does their God, Allah, justify the theft, the subjugation, the oppression, the humiliation of a people. It's never been allowed Islamically and if throughout history, any Muslim has done that, we stand against them. We are free of them. We don't support them. But here they are supporting a state that oppresses, humiliates, subjugates, steals their resources, their, their land, their water, you know, uh, uh, you know, and completely wipes them off. Look at the maps. You see the Palestinian land shrinking, shrinking every single year. It doesn't happen by accident. Then he said, the Bible says this. That's where I wanted to catch him on before he ran away with his uh, tail between his legs. The first thing you need to do is establish that God actually said that. The Torah was not even written down till a thousand years, 1500 years afterwards. It was, a, it was an oral tradition and they were not allowed to write it down. And we can demonstrate that the many additions and subtractions have happened with the Old and the New Testament, evidentially. So for you to claim that God gave us this land, God said this land was ours, the very first thing you need to establish is, did God actually say that? Are these the word of God? And I don't think you can establish that. So on both counts, he has massive problems. Now what concerns me is that in modern times, seeing what you can see, the suffering, the humiliation, the subjugation, the oppression, the crushing and the crushing of a people, even they don't spare the children. Look at their stories of the, the ex-soldiers, Israeli soldiers, and look at what they're saying of how they treat the Palestinian people. They terrorize a people, they humiliate a people, even amongst in the United Nations, the definition of war crimes is that you use disproportionate force, you targeting of civilians. And if you look at Israel, Israel does all of those things regularly. Target civilians and it is disproportionate force. I was having a conversation with Joseph and Joseph, uh, Joseph uh, sorry, not Joseph, uh, with, uh, uh, with Josh. And Josh was, is a nice guy, but he was saying, oh, what about the rockets that are flying into Israel? And I asked the question, you have one of the most secure countries in the world by Israeli surveillance. How do those rockets get into Palestine in the first place? How? Thousands of them. They're about the size of a truck. How do these rockets get uh, brought to, to, into Palestine? 
the only logical, the only rational conclusion is that the Israelis allow those rockets to come in. Because they know when they antagonize and they humiliate and they deprive the Palestinian people of the most basic human rights that they are going to fire those rockets. And how many rockets were fired in the last conflict in uh, Cast Lead or Operation Protective Edge? The Israelis claim some 4,700 rockets were fired. One house in Israel got damaged. How many houses did they demolish of the Palestinian people? 18,000 houses they demolished of the Palestinian people. And these people have the, uh, the gall to come here and defend that. Shame on them. The evidence is clear. There is no confusion. There is no ambiguity here. The evidence is clear. You either stand with the oppressors, who are the Israelis, or you stand with the defenseless people who have no arms, no air force, no navy. If you're going to complain about the rockets, stop the subjugation, the humiliation, the embargo, the, the destruction of a people. Stop that first then complain about the rockets. With that, I end what I wanted to say. Asalaamu Alaikum.